Hi, I'm Kat from ParentFocus.com. Thanks for coming back to watch another video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to correct some of your color problems in a free photo editing program called GIF. Uh, in a previous video, I talked about using the white balance settings in your camera to start to try to get those colors a little bit under control. Um, if you notice that your colors are coming out way too yellow or way too blue, sometimes even too pink or too, uh, too green, using the white balance settings in your camera can go a long way to fixing those problems. But you'll often find that there's still a little bit of a warm tone or a cool tone in your pictures, even if you get the white balance right in your camera. So luckily, those are really easy things to fix in GIMP, and if you keep watching, I'll show you how to do it. So I've already opened this photo in GIMP and I've already done a little bit of brightness and contrast adjustment to it, but I really need to do some work on the colors. All of that area that's around this ring should be really white and you can see that it's not. It's really kind of yellow. Um, and all of the ring looks kind of brassy when it should look like sterling silver, that's what it is. So. I need to adjust the colors in this picture to remove some of that warmth or some of that yellow tone. And to do that, I'm going to use my all-time favorite color correction tool, and it's the color balance tool. To get to it, you go to colors, color balance, and the color balance window will pop up. At the top of this window, there are three buttons for shadows, midtones, and highlights. And that's because you can adjust the shadows, midtones, and highlights of the picture separately. Um, you don't have to click OK in between adjusting the shadows, midtones, and highlights, but you do adjust the colors in the shadows, midtones, and highlights separately. So that's that. I start with the midtones because most of a photo is typically midtones. This photo might have a lot of highlights in it, but I'm going to start with the midtones anyway, just because that's how I normally do it. Then down here, you'll see there's three sliders, the cyan red slider, the magenta green slider, and the yellow blue slider. And all you have to do is move these sliders to the left or the right to either add some color or remove its opposite. And in this picture, I can tell there's a lot of yellow. So the first thing I'm gonna do is remove some yellow and add some blue. So I'll just go to the yellow blue slider and move it to the blue side. And you'll see that starts to help a little bit. I'm going to make small adjustments and then I can come back to these different sliders and tweak them as I need to. So that's started to get my photo kind of corrected, but I can see around the edges that there's still some, some kind of red warmth here. So I'm going to go to the cyan red slider and move it to the cyan side. Cyan's kind of a turquoise blue green color and it will get rid of that red that's around the edges. And that's starting to do a pretty good job too, but I can tell that I'm, it still needs some work, so I'll come here to the Highlights button. Like I said, I don't have to um, click OK in between uh, adjusting the different color ranges, and um, I can just come over here and click Highlights and not worry about it. You'll see if I click on the midtones, my adjustments are saved. Um, so like I said, I'll work on the highlights a little bit and I'm going to do the exact same thing for the highlights. I'm going to move the yellow blue slider toward the blue side. I may not have to move it as much, I may have to move it more, but I'm, the basic idea is the same. And then I'll move the red uh, cyan slider toward the cyan side and you'll see that's really starting to make a huge difference. It's like a whole new photo now. I typically don't have to adjust the shadows too much, but just to see what's uh, what's possible, you can adjust the shadows too. I don't think I really need to adjust the shadows too much in this picture. And that's starting to look really good. Now you might be thinking, okay, this is going to take me forever, especially if you have like a lot of photos to go through. And it does get easier as you go. You start to recognize the difference between cyan and blue and the difference between a red tone and a, a yellow tone or a red tone and a magenta tone. It does get easier as you go. But the really good news is if you took a lot of pictures in the same light, they'll all need basically the same adjustment. 
which means you can create a preset here in the color balance window that will save all of the settings that you just tweaked into perfection so that you can apply that preset to every other photo that you took in that light. So for example, I took a bunch of pictures of this ring in the same light within 20 minutes at different angles. So I could apply the same exact settings to all of those pictures and get the same exact correction. So I want to come up here to the preset section and click this plus sign and then I'll just give it a name. I'll call it Ruby Ring and click OK. And now I have a preset saved in this drop down menu that has all of the settings that I changed in this color balance window. It's not just for the highlights, it's for the highlights, the midtones, and the shadows. It's for the cyan red slider, the magenta green slider, and the yellow blue slider. It's for any little button that I checked, everything that I did. It saves all of those settings so that I can quickly apply all of those settings at once to any other picture that I open. So I'll click OK to apply the effect here. And for brevity's sake, I'm just going to undo the effect instead of opening up a new photo. So we'll just undo that. Um, then I can come back up here to colors, color balance again to open up the color balance window. The color balance window will pop up again and then I can just come up here to the preset section and choose my preset. And that automatically applies all of those settings that I tweaked into perfection before and I don't have to mess with any of these sliders. I can just click OK to apply the effect and that's it. So you can see if you took a whole bunch of pictures that need the same correction, you could just boom, 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 go right through them and not have to think about it. It's only the first one that you really have to think about. So yeah, I hope that helps. Um, I hope that it made sense. And if it didn't make any sense, or if you have any questions at all, please leave a comment below and I'll get right back to you and I'll try to make sense of whatever it is that you missed. So I really hope that helps and have a great weekend. Bye.